poetry sound when the door opens. As you step off the elevator and into the pedestrian towers at Logan Central Parking Facility, you're bathed in light and sound. There's a column of multicolored glass in glowing horizontal bands that wrap around the towers, color-coded to whichever tower you're in. What am I hearing? Well, actually, now you're hearing uh, what it would be like in a forest in New Hampshire. If you stood here long enough, you'd also hear the shores of Cape Cod with seagulls and foghorns and different things, but it's all about the sound environments of New England. See, the music comes from people pushing to call for the elevators. So that's actually the interactive element. If I push the up button. Yeah, you get that melodic trill. The flute going up calls for the elevator. And then, and then you get it going down. The notes go down. Jenny trained as an architect and musician and has been creating public interactive artwork for 25 years, beginning with his thesis work, Sound Stair, which many people saw at the Museum of Science. He put sound and light installations in New York City at Lincoln Center and Manhattan subway system. And Mikhail Borishnikov danced to the sound of his own heartbeat in one of Jenny's works called Heartbeat. I love the sound of the birds. It's yeah. so, it actually is a beautiful sort of. Well, it's trying to be soothing. Yeah. You know, airports are not soothing places. So a lot of my work, I do a lot of work in major transportation buildings, and that's part of uh, what I try to do with the sound is make it so it's sort of more, more relaxing and more sort of, uh, you know, just chill out a little bit. 